Hello guys, welcome to Blonity. I have a lot of stuff for you. My first big minor comparison. Let's go. First my little disclaimer, it's no financial advice. It's my own opinion and estimates. They could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers. Be aware of scammers. You know the best how to invest your money. Okay, guys. Um, this weekend I created the model BMX version 0.1. Yeah, I have put in some office hours and I was very busy. Uh, yeah, to complete it till Sunday. Um, I hope you like the names of all these KPIs. It's a number based model with daily data for past, now, and forecast. It will be integrated soon, the forecast. So um, please be aware if a miner is on the last spot in the ranking, that doesn't mean it is a bad company. All the miners I show you do have a huge potential, at least in my opinion. But the KPRs, KPIs are divided by market cap. So maybe the company is right now a little bit overvalued compared to the others. And that's why it's maybe not in the top spot of the ranking. Furthermore, I have to say that this model is still in development. It's version 0 0.1, so it's not 100% completed. So there could be mistakes. So yeah, please be aware of that. So first of all, um, I want to show you uh, the model. It's, it's a huge Excel database. Um, yeah, I give you a little overview here. Um, yeah, and this I have the stock price, the shares outstanding, the market cap. Then I have all the OPEX data for the operational gross mining margin, the daily margin here. I have a lot of data. It's all daily data, so every line is one day. Okay, so you have it every day, you have it um, in time, just in time, so you'll be able to make decisions based on this model. So as I told you, we have these three categories. It's OPEX for operational um, excellence. Then we have HODL, HODLX for um, HODL excellence and STRATEX for strategy excellence. And in the end, we will have Blonity MXI. This is the, yeah, this is the, the, the major KPI, which is the output of the whole whole model, we have the mining output here and so on. So I have a lot of data here for you, but um, I've put it in this presentation here. It's, uh, it's a little bit easier, I think, to, uh, show, to show you uh, this way. Okay, let's start with the operational excellence. Okay, so yesterday was the 28th of November. We can see the... Um, so the OPEX is the operational or the, the gross mining margin. So we have the operation uh, OPEX 10. It's the moving at the 10 day moving average of the gross mining margin of this company. So yesterday it was for Hive 127,000 US dollars, the 10 day moving average gross mining margin. So the 30 day is 103,000 US dollars and the OPEX 90, it's 108,000. So Hype is a little bit special. You can see it here. Um, it's always good if the OPEX 90 is lower than the OPEX 30 and the OPEX 30 is lower than the OPEX 10. That means we are in a bull market. So we have rising gross mining margins. Um, but in this case, it's a little bit different. This is because Hive is a major Ethereum miner. And in August, Ethereum had huge, huge fees and Hive, there were a day there was a day I will show you where they made profit um, profit of three hundred eighty thousand based on my model. So uh, that was that was crazy. So I will show you the OPEX one. So this is the the daily margin without moving average. So I can show you here. I hope you can see it. Um, maybe it's a little bit too small. Okay, here it's three hundred fifty thousand. So yeah, that's that's a lot, I guess. So um, yeah, it was on the on the first second uh, September. So that was a lot. So um, let's get back into it. Oh man, 
uh, I have to get back to the sheet here. Okay. So, but the other miners, they are mostly pure Bitcoin miners. Only Argo blockchain has a little bit of Ccash right now. So, in the you see that Hive is on the top right now, right now in OPEX 10, OPEX 30, and OPEX 90. They are above 100,000 USD. It's because Ether mining is right now very, very profitable. Bitcoin mining was very tough in the last few months because of the halving. But now it's getting better. You see it here. HUD 8 was in the OPEX 90. It was negative. Then OPEX 30, positive. And now it's, it's positive again. And it's higher than OPEX 30. So that's okay. It's still, it's still low because uh, with their efficiency issues. So the OPEX category is not the best for HUD 8. But um, yeah, they are positive right now in, in the cross mining margin. So that's that's a good development here. We see bit farms. I adjusted the hash rate a little bit to 950 peta hash because of their call of the Q3 results. I was a little bit too optimistic with their expansion. So I, was, I thought it was above one exa hash now, but they said they're approaching one exa hash. So right now I calculate with uh, 950 peta hash because I have no other number. I think they should tell us uh, what's their actual peta hash maximum number. Uh, we don't have it right now. But here it's also rising in the last 30 days a lot. So it's an, it's an uptrend that's very good. We have Argo blockchain. Uh, yeah, they have had an uptrade from OPEX 90 to OPEX 30, but then it's it's very stable. Um, yeah, this is it has two reasons. First of all, they lowered their BTC hash rate from 7 130 peta hash to 645 because they had a, a few bad machines from Bitmain, the T17s, I think. And uh, there's there was the Zcash halving, so the output of uh, Zcash re is reduced right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, but it's on a high level, the gross mining margin, so that's pretty okay. Then we have Marathon Patent Group. Um, they are also on an uptrend, yeah, right now on a lower. Uh, on a lower base right now than the other ones, but they have a huge expansion plan. Uh, we know that from my fundamental analysis. analysis. And we have Riot blockchain, also on an uptrend, 34, 51, 55. So they're also growing, uh, so pretty nice here. So the operational excellence overview we have here. So, but it's better um, to compare the operational excellence to the market cap. So I created the OPEX 90 VR. Um, it means it's the operational excellence 90 day gross mining margin moving average value ratio. It means uh, you have the OPEX 90, so the 90 day moving average of the gross mining margin and divide it, uh, multiply it with 360 that you have yeah, for one year, the gross mining margin, and you divide it through the market cap. So um, you can see whether the company is overvalued or undervalued. So um, if we do it for Hive, the OPEX 90 VR um, for Hive, it's 0 0.16. You can see it here also for this day, 0 0.16. So for HUD 8, it's negative because um, in the last 90 days, the moving average was negative. They had a negative mining margin. They're improving now, but it, the 90 days is still not good. Um, yeah, and another example is for Argo blockchain, the OPEX 90 VR for Argo is 0 0.46. So they are the leader here in this category because they have a nice mining margin, not the, not the highest one, not the best one. It's 50,000 USD, Hive has 100,000, but they have a very, very low market cap, at least in my opinion, compared to Hive. It's, uh, yeah, 7X or something like this lower. So it's at 39 million USD. And in my opinion, we always have to compare these KPIs um, to the, the market cap to see, um, yeah, which one is a good buy op buying opportunity or not. So here you can see that the market caps here, uh, it's an estimation uh, from me. So it's it's not one, it ha don't has to be 100% correct, okay? Because we always don't know how many shares are out now because they dilute all these companies, they dilute a lot. So, but here you can see the, so the top market cap right now is Riot with uh, more than 300 million US dollars. So yeah, uh, it's uh, the, the two NASDAQ companies like Riot and M Marathon 
they're compared to the Canadian companies, uh, yeah, a little bit overvalued in my opinion right now. So then we have the next category. We have the HODL excellence. So there we have another leader. It's HUD8. Um, yeah, we have the we have the the holdings here from the last quarter, the end of last quarter, September. Um, I do it in BTC equivalents. Um, so the Ethereum's from Hive, I calculate it in BTC. So we can see here um, HUD8 has the most and has a has a, has a, a big lead in front of the other miners. Um, yeah, with more than 2,800 BTCs. Um, Hive with 774, and we have Riot with 840, so also very nice. Argo is low here with uh, 139 or something like this. In US dollars, we have the numbers here. Hot 8, it's more, it was more than 30 million USD at that time. Uh, right now, it's it's a lot higher. It's, it's from the end of the quarter. So um, yeah, the USD value is right now a lot higher. Um, yes. Then we have the accumulation factor from uh, BTC. How many BTCs can they save per day? And they don't have to sell it. Um, yeah, it's right now, it's it's not dynamic. It's um, I have to include the fixed costs in the model to say, okay, revenue minus operational cost minus fixed cost. Uh, the rest they can they can save in BTC. Um, so it's not included right now in the hodl excellence and i will i will make an a calculation and will integrate it into the hodl hodl x vr so here we have the hodl x vr this is the the hodl x um kpi um divided by hodl excellence value ratio um it's the hodl x divided by the market cap so I like I I hope you like the name Hotel Excellence. <laughs> I really I really like this one. So for HUD 8, um the Hotel X VR, it's 30.6 million USD. Okay, it's a little bit an old number. Sorry for that. Um with the with the daily Bitcoin price from the it's from the end of the quarter because that's the time uh, where I have the, the, the BTC holdings. Um, maybe I should have estimated and yeah, do it with the price of BTC today. So the, the, it was a, it would be at fifty million dollars, but um, it's okay because all the other miners have all the same BTC price, so it would be the same. Uh, uh, maybe a little bit higher, but it would be the same. So um, thirty million USD um, divided by the market cap of one hundred million, uh, one hundred four million USD is zero point twenty twenty nine. And here we have Argo blockchain, um, a low um, HODL, HODL X and a low market cap, but it's uh, also a low um, HODL X we are, so at 0 .0 0.0.4. So here uh, the, the number one is clearly HUD8. So here again, we have the market cap to compare. Okay, so we had the two first categories. First, operational excellence. Number one is Argo, uh, the VR. So compared to the market cap, without compared to the market cap, it's Hive with more than 100,000 per day. With market cap in operational excellence, it's Argo and HODL excellence, it's um, HUD8. Okay, let's go to the third um, category. It's the strategic excellence. It's a little bit a soft indicator, okay? So um, I have to improve this one um, to make it more detailed and make it better. But it's like, um, yeah, we have, uh, I give, uh, I have a few categories. Right now I have four. It's expansion plans, diversification in coins and, and country. We have supplier contracts and risks. And I can give five points to them. So one is really bad and five is very, very good. So um, yeah, I I gave them the points here, um, and yeah, and I um, su su summarized them up. So the Stratex, the strategic excellence for Riot, for example, is five plus one plus five plus three divided by one hundred to get a nice number compared to the other numbers, and to 
and we have 0 0.14. So in this category, the strat strategy, Riot is the leader. And then we have Marathon Patent Code, which is number two. And why is Riot the leader in this category? Um, because the US stocks um, from NASDAQ, they both have good mining equipment contracts with Bitmain. And this is one of the most important things, I think, because in the upcoming bull market, uh, one uh, viewer told me that uh, he called the, the Bitfarm CFO and uh, he told him that it's very difficult to get uh, cheap machines right now. So um, it's, thank you for that. Um, I like these comments. Um, yeah, so it's very difficult to get the machines right now. So it's very important to have this uh, contract. So, and they have a supplier contract with the electricity, with the coin mint and all this stuff. They have huge expansion plans and so on and so on. And the risks are limited. Yeah, I see a marathon a little bit behind a riot in this category because um, riot has a hydropower plant or yeah, it gets the, it buys from the grid. Uh, uh, Coinment buys from the from the electricity grid, but um, yeah, uh, it's it's the most hydro because of the huge dam there. But Marathon Patent Group, they uh, will get uh, electricity from a coal-fired power plant, and I'm not a big fan of that, so that's why they're a little bit behind. But they will have the the highest hash rate number if they get them their miners in time. So yeah, it's also a very interesting company. I think they will they will move. So. And now we have the, yeah, we have these three categories and now we have the, the, the category which all leads together. And this is called the Blonity MXI or BMXI. It means Blonity Miners Excellence Indicator. So it's, it's very easy. It's BMXI is OPEX 90VR plus HODLX VR and Stratex. So right now the winner is Argo Blockchain. It's a good company with low market cap, in my opinion, right now. So yeah, Hive is makes a lot of money every day right now, but has a huge market cap right now. Uh, not a huge compared to their potential, but compared to the to, to Argo blockchain. Hut8 has a bad operational excellence, but a very good hodl excellence. Bitfarms, um, good operational excellence, no hodl excellence. They do not hodl, so they have to accumulate. Yeah, Argo in all categories, good, very good. Marathon and Riot, yeah, they have a huge market cap right now and not the high um, operational excellence because the hash rate compared to the others is, is lower, especially for marath Marathon. So um, yeah, but uh, they will grow in the next weeks. So yeah, this is my <laughs> BMXI indicator or BMX indicator. <laughs> so. Yes, I hope you like the names. Write down in the comment section. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. So what are the next steps? In the next four weeks, find and eliminate the errors in the BMXI version 0 0.1. Integrate the missing elements in the BMX version 0 0.1 and finish the version 1.0. Next six weeks, start of BMX version 2. Integrate um, intelligence for forecasting. I want to use this tool on a daily forecasting to um, forecast the next quarters. Yeah, we have then the hash rate assumption, all this stuff. So it's going to be very interesting in the next week. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe uh, that you always get the, the the videos from me. And in the next eight weeks, uh, creating scenarios for possible stock price independence to the price of Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrency. So in the end, I will have a forecast for uh, uh, different scenarios for stock prices. Um, yeah, the lower end, the higher end. If Bitcoin goes to 200K, we will have a stock price like this. So this is going to be very interesting for the next bull market, I think. Yes, uh, yes, I think that's it. Um, yeah, it, it was a lot of work, and uh, but I really love it. I really like your comments and your, your feedback in the comment section. Yeah, give me a like and subscribe. And yeah, see you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.